Hi everyone, my name is Patrick, score 100 percentile 6 times in CAT. So this particular video is books that you need to read in the month of July. So we have come across with books in different months, March, April, May, June, four books we recommend every month. So you can pick up some of the books from those or you can pick up maybe all those books. So based on your liking and based on your interest, you can pick up. So if you have started with Harry Potter in the previous month, you can continue reading that. It's only that we are trying to recommend different kind of books. So do, do, you have a choice and maybe you can decide which of those books or which of those genres you are interested in and you want to continue reading. So that's the basic idea of giving you a list of books every month. So again, we come up with four interesting books that you can read in the month of July. So the four books, Hobbit. I mean, last time we talked about Harry Potter. Hobbit is a book that you read before the Lord of the Rings. Lord of, Lord of the Rings is an amazing book. Hobbit comes before that. So you read a Hobbit, then you read a Lord of the Rings. There's a whole GRR Tolkien universe. If you're a person who likes fantasy, I do like fantasy. I think uh, the series, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings is one of the amazing fantasy novels which are there. Right? Then you have Roald Dahl books. He is known to be a children's book writer, but I think his books are really good. Even adults can read. So if you're maybe just started reading or even if you're well read, I mean, I also like to read these books. I do read these books. So read this book, pick up the book, light reading, just short stories and that will help you read. Straight from the gut. So this time I've included two management type of books. One is a straight from the book. Gut is an autobiography of Jack Welch. He was a head of GE, amazing, rose in the corporate ladder and was the head of GE for a long time. So you can read his book. And the second book, which is 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. If you take marketing or not, it's a very interesting read. It gives you different laws, gives you a lot of examples. The examples keeps it interesting and you, you really love marketing if you go to the book. So read these books, it will help you. Okay, so let's try to just understand Hobbit. It actually was published in 1937, a very old book, but amazing book. So there is a whole Tolkien's fictional universe which is there. So and you come across with different kind of people, different kind of authors. It's an amazing read. So if you want to read and if you're interested in fantasy, I would recommend definitely Hobbit. Lord of the Rings is one of the best fantasy novels that have been written. That's what I have read so far. Next is Roald Dahl books. I mean, people, short stories of Roald Dahl. If you want to really improve your language, start from the basics. I mean, not that this is a basic book, but it will help you a light reading. Short stories will always help. If you are not a person who wants to read long books, short book is what you can read. Short stories by Roald Dahl is a good book to read. Jack Wells coming to business. I mean, he has been CEO from 1981 onward for a long period of time. He grew the company from $12 billion to $280 billion, making one of the biggest companies in the world. Read his book to understand what management is all about, how does it go and you know, some insights into the business world since you're preparing for cat. This is about marketing. So if you really want to know a little bit more about marketing, I think these books are really interesting read because it's just filled with examples. So he's giving you laws. He's saying there's a laws of nature. So there should be laws of marketing. So he's giving you laws of marketing and the whole examples is what makes it very interesting. So read and that will help you to understand marketing. So if you are a person who wants to go for marketing, I would definitely recommend you to read this book before you go for an interview, just to understand what marketing is all about. Okay? It doesn't give you a lot of glimpse of marketing, not in terms of theory, but makes you understand what marketing is requires. I hope that helps. Thank you.